Today, we again have a problem which involves three, four, five triangles. And I don't know why it makes me super excited about the problem as I start to imagine that something amazing is coming up. We put a square around this triangle like this, such that this vertex of the square coincides with the vertex of this triangle like this. Our job is to find the ratio of the area of the blue shaded region to the area of the unshaded or the white region. So, can you solve it? Okay, to find this ratio, we need the area of the blue shaded region, which is the area of this triangle. This triangle is a 3, 4, 5 triangle. And what do we know about such a triangle? That's right! It is a right triangle because it follows the Pythagorean theorem. 3 square plus 4 square equals 5 square. So, this angle will be the right angle. To find the area of this triangle, we use the formula for the area of a triangle, which is half of the base multiplied by the height. In this case, the base of the triangle is 3 and the height is 4. Substituting these values into the formula, the area becomes half of 3 multiplied by 4 or 6 square units. Great! Now let us label the side of this square as x. So, the area of the unshaded region will be the same as the area of this square, which is x square, minus the area of this blue region, or 6. Thus, the required ratio will be the area of this blue region, or 6, over the area of this unshaded region, or x square, minus 6. So, we just need to find the value of this x, and we are done. But how can we determine this x? Here comes the magic. Label this angle as theta, and this side of this smaller triangle as y. So, this side length will be equal to x minus y, isn't it? Now, this angle will also be 90 degrees, right? So, this angle will be 90 minus theta. Now, this angle is 90 degrees, and thus this angle will also be equal to theta, right? And since this angle is also a right angle, so this will also be 90 minus theta. Therefore, both these triangles are similar to each other. That's nice, but how can we use this fact to find the value of x? Since both these triangles are similar, therefore this length, which is opposite to the angle 90 minus theta, or x, over this hypotenuse, or 4, will be equal to the following ratio. And the ratio is this side, which is opposite to 90 minus theta, or x minus y, over this hypotenuse, or 3. Cross multiply to get this, and then take 4y this side, and 3x this side, to get y equals x over 4. Amazing! Now, consider this triangle. We can use Pythagoras' theorem to find the value of x. We get x square plus y square equals 4 square or 16. Then substitute y here to make it x square plus x by 4 whole square equals 16. Adding them, we get 17 x square over 16 equals 16, and thus x square equals 256 over 17. Nice. Now substitute it here to make this denominator as 256 over 17 minus 6 or 154 over 17, and then 6 divided by this finally gives us the required ratio as 51 over 77. Were you able to solve it? Also, if you like this video, then please don't forget to share it with your friends and support this channel by joining our community and becoming a member. So good.